Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my island living famalam. You guys are getting a little spoiler as to what's to come in this part. But before we get into part five of this Let's Play, I wanna give a shout out to my channel sponsor. So I am sponsored by Elgato. I use the Elgato stream deck as a hotkey for all my Sims 4 cheats. And I recently just found out something really cool. So you guys know I'm obsessed with taking screenshots and I've realized that I can set up a hotkey to actually turn off the headline effects so that the plumb bob disappears. And then if I hit the button again, bam, the plumb bob is back. So if you guys wanna go check out the stream deck for yourselves, there is a link in my description. Feel free to go click click through to that and it will take you to all of Elgato's products. Welcome back to my island living let's play. Little Miss Arihi just got woken up by this monsoon that's currently going on. So there's this massive thunderstorm that has hit Sulani but on the upside, you know, every cloud has a silver lining. She got promoted to wildlife technician. She will now make an additional 12 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 37. She also received the following bonus. Right conservation, I was about to say conservative. She can now write a conservation article. She also has a solid tan. She has gone super dark, which I love, you know, she's embracing her summer skin. Um, so yeah, now we can do that. Cool, cool, cool beans. Oh, look at the little water droplets in the sea. I love that. Sulani even looks pretty when it's raining, but unfortunately that means she's got to get out and about in her career whilst it is peeing it down. So she needs to write a conservation article and she needs to spread conservation awareness. Ooh, we actually don't need to get out and about then. We could do pretty much all of that in the community center. So we're gonna head on over there. Uh, Tama actually just woke up as well. Please don't eat that. That has been out on the table all night. That is gonna be disgusting. Why don't you actually come and serve some breakfast? I think we will serve up a fruit salad. Fruit salad just seems very island living-esque. This man is about to go play in the rain. Well, you can't get past because there's grass out here, dude. <laughs> Where are you thinking of going playing in the rain? I actually want him to go do that though. I think it would be quite cute for him to go play in the rain. We can also shower in the rain if we want to. <gasps> I wonder if mermaids, I wonder if like showering in the rain, I'm sure it probably does go up there, hydration, but she is hella hungry. Dude, how did you do that? You're meant to be really good at cooking. Why did you just mess that up so badly? Uh, but yeah, she's super hungry. So I'm gonna let her get on with that. She is here reading this logic book, which is gonna do nothing because it's logic level one. And Arihi, you are already way more clever than that. So as you guys can probably tell, if you watched my last part, I have played a couple of days off screen and that's because Arihi doesn't actually have work tomorrow, which means we can finally throw our carver party. I think I am gonna have her host it considering it's part of her aspiration, but I'm also gonna have Tama and Amiri as the hosts as well. Anastasia actually commented back on like part two of this let's play, I'm fairly sure. Oh no, our sink broke. I'm gonna leave that to my parents to fix. Arihi's, uh, she's noping on out of there. She's like, nope. Wasn't me, I'm getting out of here before I can get the blame for any of that. She's still feeling pretty embarrassed that she uh, she rolled up drunk, like looking like a zombie and naked in front of the elementals. No wonder they despise us. 
<laughs> Before I get onto the elementals though, Anastasia actually commented saying, I think it will be funny if the dad will host the party for his daughter and try to set her up with someone, which is something I honestly had in mind when I was talking about like the Carver party, because obviously she broke up with Paolo and that's why she moved back from San Myshuno. And the dad's like, come on, top clock is ticking. You need to find yourself someone else. Speaking of, oh no, that's, oops. That's Duane. Uh, I thought that was the other chick that I created. A lot of you seem to like her in the uh, the last part. So we're gonna go write a conservationist article. Is Oliana here? I can't see her. He well looks like the other chick that I made, but he looks a little bit different because he has like a lifeguard whistle on and like his little his little red lifeguard shorts on. I love how even when he's not being a lifeguard, he still wears his whistle. He just likes people to know that he's important. Oh, here's Tane. He's actually Oliana's son. We knew Tane when he was a baby. Um but we haven't seen him in like literal years. So that's gonna be interesting. Oh, here's Kiaka. This is who I was talking about. She really looks like Duane, except Duane has black hair and she has brown hair. That's the only difference. Oh, and she has tattoos as well because she's a young adult. Ah, Tane's crying over this. I promise, little dude, once I've finished my article, I'll come fix it for you because I feel really bad. This was that librarian who had like a crazy mean streak. So I feel really bad that she broke the house for him and like these little, <laughs> these little rugs down here seriously look like he's just been crying his eyes out. Oliana, fix this for your son. Come on, I can imagine you being quite a a handy sim. Oh, no, nope, she's just doing push-ups next to it. To show off how strong you are, but the fact that you won't rebuild it for your child. Oh, the thunderstorm passed. It's now like super sunny. There's a birthday party for one of the toddlers. Are you still coming? No. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Get out of here. So I'm trying to steal my thunder. I'm here like, yeah, we're gonna finally throw this carver party. Like it's gonna be so good. Is that a new notification though? I don't think I've ever seen that notification before in my life, like at all. All right, there we go. She wrote her conservation article and now we need to spread conservation awareness to other sims. Uh, we're gonna actually come over here. We're gonna give a friendly introduction to Melee and hopefully we'll be able to spread some, some queries about conservation because we all know that these are like the big developers of the island so maybe we can start talking some sense into her. Arihi kind of has a different approach to her dad when it comes to the Kahanuis. Um, she basically like tries to be friendly with them and she like tries her best to like suck up to them as much as she can hoping that she will have an effect on them so we are going to how do we spread this i think it's friendly oh it was right there spread conservation awareness i don't know if she's gonna be like into it or if she's gonna just be like no we want to tear up the islands and we want to renovate and everything and develop it and we don't really give a crap about any of you who actually grew up here but we'll just have to wait and see maybe she's not as much of a demon as i actually thought she was she seems to be agreeing with it from what I can see. She's nodding a little bit. Hey, there we go. And we got a little eco leaf, which will help the island. And Tane is still here. So I'm gonna come and repair it for this dude. Oh, it's still raining. It's like summer, like it's blue skies, but it's still raining, which honestly is just every day in England at the moment. <laughs> Actually, who am I kidding? We have a heat wave right now. Um, it's not it's not great. It's not the biggest heat wave ever, but we do have 
a heat wave. All right, there we go. So she finished that up, which is great. Thank you, Arihi. That's exactly what I wanted. We're actually gonna talk to Kiaka. We're actually gonna come over here. We're gonna brighten her day, give her a heartfelt compliment. We're gonna share our brilliant ideas with her um, because I do kind of want to invite her to our party this evening, hopefully that will work. I'm actually gonna spread conservation awareness to her as well. That's gonna be our ruse. We're gonna be like, yeah, we only wanted to talk to you so that I could let you know about how badly the island is doing. And I have this amazing invention that's gonna help me like get it back on track. <laughs> When in reality, Arihi just wanted to talk to her. Makoa! Makoa! Am I right, ladies and gents and non binary pals? Um, we're gonna go have a deep conversation with him. We're also gonna flatter him, because boy is looking good. Uh, we're also gonna discuss work with him. He's actually in our career, which I find really, really cool. Is this the woman that we denied for the party? I don't think it is. I think it's a different, a different lady. Oh, did we just give her our invention? I mean, I wasn't expecting that. Why do I keep getting register your career? I'm not even trying to register a damn career. Spreading awareness, Arihi hopes that she was able to convey her passion about the environment. At the very least, it seems she was heard. Knowledge is power and all that. I agree. Oh, he's a child of the ocean. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I know he is like quite a... Oh my god, Sims. What is happening? This is the weirdest thing ever. We're actually gonna come over here. We're gonna give Tane a cheerful introduction. Considering he is Oliana's kid, I wanna like say hey to him and like introduce ourselves to him. Ooh, is Oliana feeling flirty? Your wife isn't in the building. Why are you feeling flirty? Don't tell me that I'm gonna have to break you two up. Go away! Oh my god, Sims, what are you doing? There we go, we introduced ourselves to Tane and what's good? What's good, Tane? <laughs> Tell me about life. How's school going? We're gonna discuss his interests. We're gonna brighten his day a little bit. We're gonna ask him about school. Can we ask him about school? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Oh my God, why does this keep happening? Who are you? Damn, why are all the men around here so freaking buff? And the ladies, you know? Sulani doesn't discriminate. Everyone is so super attractive and super athletic and it's making me cry. I'm just here sat on my fat ass playing The Sims and everyone else is like out here looking like a snack that they're about to attack, that I'm about to attack. I have no self-restraint when it comes to Sims of Sulani. So I think I'm gonna send her home and then I'm gonna get these guys ready for the party. I kinda wanna change up their outfits a little bit. Um, we actually have some traditional dress. I think I'm probably gonna have them like rock their formal wear but i cannot remember what arihi's formal wear is um so let me check that outfits change outfit why are you cold it's freaking boiling outside this pack is glitchy man oh this is her one formal wear okay she definitely i kind of want something a little bit more traditional um so i am gonna sort the outfits out why does she keep getting this sudden chill from swimming I mean, she hasn't been swimming, so that kind of makes no sense. But we're gonna go plan outfits. I'm gonna have a Mary come and replace this. We gotta get everyone ready for the party because he's feeling gross. He needs to have a shower and all of that good stuff. So I'm pretty much gonna do this off screen and I'll be back with you guys in a second once we're actually, actually, you know what I'm gonna do real quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn it. I was hoping I could plan the party before I got into Create a Sim, but this is fine. I'll quickly edit them up and then I'll add the event and then we will be throwing this long awaited Carver party, which I am hoping we can get a gold on. Carver party, the challenge rewards, gold awards, 
are a buried treasure, get a literal taste of island tradition by holding your own carver party. Use the special carver bowl to mix up your own batch and raise a toast to your friends, old and new. Disclaimer, excessive consumption of carver may lead to prolonged and extreme levels of relaxation. Extreme relaxation. Luckily, Sims can't die from being extremely dazed, which is very important. Honestly, when I first read this, I was like, oh, is this a new death? But it is not. I think they can. It looks like someone's fallen asleep on the floor over here. Um, so maybe they, we don't have this in game, do we? Is that a tattoo that we have in game? It doesn't look like the one. Maybe I haven't looked that great at it. Also, why is this kid at a carver party? Like they can't drink carver, so it makes no sense. There we go. It cost us a hundred simoleons. Uh, so I am actually gonna have little Arihi. Where is our carver bowl? It's over here. I'm gonna have her prepare some carver. How is our mama feeling? She's feeling okay as well. Um, I'm gonna purchase another carver bowl. I realized one of you guys said in the comments, thank you to everyone who's been giving me like hints and tips. If you guys have any hints or tips about the elementals and how to get on their good side, feel free to leave them in the comments down below because I am struggling. Oh, we actually have a carvable in our inventory. Sick. Okay, well, oh no, wait. We just purchased another one. That's not our inventory. I am a dum dum. Ooh, we actually, I forgot to tell you guys, we finished the shellfish collection. So we finished the shell collection, which is pretty cool. I just did that by beachcombing and also having like Arihi just pick up any shells that she saw while she was like out on the beach and stuff like that. So we actually finished the collection. Well done. The elder crustacean court has sent you this plaque to commemorate your gallant service in the ongoing battle against the mollusks. They are impressed by your fearsome collection at that almost rivals their own. Confining so many husks of their sworn enemies to you over water dwelling is no easy task and surely worthy of this high honor. So I'm gonna leave this on Arihi's wall next to all her seashells. I mean, it really wasn't that hard. There was only five different seashells to collect so it was a pretty easy collection to finish off if I do say so myself I'm just getting cocky now one of you said in the comments I think I got distracted but you said the key to getting the gold on a carver party is just to have loads of carver so that's what I'm doing that's why we got two bowls full is he having a shower yes he is taking care of his needs the way that i needed him to i'm also gonna have him clean this as well because it's kind of gross at the minute we do have guests coming around and i don't want them to think that we are grotty oh we also have puddles on the porch i think this is more from the rain though which makes sense uh this has nine hours until it's spoiled so that's fine i can deal with that i still wish that we could put it in the fridge but unfortunately we cannot i'm also gonna have her actually come down here i'm gonna have her cook we already have an island vegetable feast um we could go for a tofurkey but considering we already have a island vegetable i kind of want her to cook something else what else do we have what's the other cook feast oh why is it the same cook feast cook grand barbecue is this a bigger portion i don't know but yeah, considering she already has the island vegetable feast, I think we'll go for Kahlua pork. Um, we'll see how that is. I'm not going to have her eat it, obviously. She's a vegetarian, but for her guests, she's obviously going to prepare a pork one as well because she realizes that not everyone's like vegetarian. I don't even know if she can cook on this in the rain. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. Um, the fire... If this works, this definitely isn't. I mean, maybe the leaves protect it. And she acquired the cooking skill. Go you, I'm so proud. She's doing so good. I heard that throwing petals, oh my God. This dude, so I was gonna invite him tonight. I completely forgot 
to do so um but i might have a mary just like invite him off the cuff like not as an actual party goer but just invite him to hang out at current lot because he is kind of one of the guys that a mary has his eye on for a um i heard that throwing petals at the romance festival apparently he's more into her dad than he is to a <laughs> which who can blame him a mary is a looker for his age he is a pretty good looking elder fellow but i'm gonna skip through whoa that was loud and i will be back with you guys in a little bit Ooh, we could actually have her call the clear skies i think i'm gonna have her do that we don't want a thunderstorm interrupting this part or our party so she's gonna blow on her shell not <laughs> Not a sentence I was expecting to say throughout this let's play. She used her mammatic powers to change the weather. Go Tama! That's so sweet. Oh my goodness, these two can't keep their hands off each other currently. She just wants to chat with him. She wants to like kiss him. Let's get a little bit romantic. We're gonna compliment his appearance. He's looking very, very cute. We're gonna give him a heartfelt compliment. And we're also gonna kiss him too. They have a really sweet relationship. Like they tend to get romantic when I'm not really watching them. Like she'll just go up to him and like kiss him or he'll come up to her and kiss her or give her a hug. And it's really, really sweet. Like I don't ever really have to tell them to do it. They're just very sweet on each other naturally. We are gonna start this event. So we need to socialize with guests and we need to invite the guests to drink kava. Put your book away, Arihi. I don't want people thinking you're a little book nerd, even though you most definitely are. But let's call to grab a drink. Oh man, she needs to get her hygiene up. So we need to have one, we need to have three people grab a drink of kava. Um, the kids are the first people coming in. I don't think they can drink kava. Ooh, your pork's also done. Let's go grab our pork. Whoa, oh my goodness. <laughs> Kalia! Oh my god, Kiala, sorry. Kiala just turned up absolutely naked. She's clearly been to like naked yoga or something like that. Why are you getting in my bed? Duan 8, that's just weird. She's so naked. Oh, Tama's not gonna like this. So if I go into Amiri's relationships real quickly, you can kind of see him and Kiala are actually really good friends. She's actually like, she's super into the island as well like always has been has a very strong connection to the ancestors of the island as well so these two like grew up together they've been best friends pretty much all throughout their years um but they did have a little bit of romance it's currently like complicated i just basically wanted them to have like a bad romance because it didn't work out between them they were always like arguing they didn't really see eye to eye on everything but tamas still like a little bit jealous of her so we're gonna give her a slightly rude introduction she finds it a little bit disrespectful that she has turned up um like absolutely naked can we do a toast how do we how do we do this oh there we go it's called carver toast it's actually under friendly so we are gonna give her a carver toast we're gonna try and mary's like oh my god like i don't want you to to fall out with one another like i'm gonna try and keep the peace here for sure um kiaka what are you wearing i did not dress you in that oh nanny's over here trying to climb up the stairs we got our pork so i'm gonna leave that out for people to eat as well oliana's just treating herself to something that's in our fridge anyway so we need to invite the guests to drink carver again so i am gonna do that uh we are gonna call to grab drink we need to make a group meal and we also need to tell some stories so i'm gonna give him a friendly introduction as a mary is mokoa not here i invited him and he hasn't shown up wow 
That's rude. We need to start telling some stories. Arihi, why don't you come up to Oliana? I'm gonna have you tell a funny story. There we go. Everyone is coming over to hang out. Okay, good. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna tell a story to her, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I just really want to get gold on this. Like, I want to see what the reward is. We're going to tell an engaging story to Kiala. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, Nalani is here as well now. Cute. Okay. I can get behind this for sure. We're going to tell another funny story and hope that it works. Come on. We can get a gold. We could so totally get a gold on this. Okay, we told one. Is a Mary telling his story? No, where did Kiala go? Oh, she's over here. Just look for the naked blurry woman. <laughs> I can't believe she turned up like completely nude. Jeez Louise. I wonder if Tama is really gonna get jealous of her. Like the fact that she's just here in the buff and a Mary keeps chatting with her like completely. I feel like she's gonna take this a little bit too hot. Ooh, you need to pee, go pee. You drank too much kava. <laughs> does she actually have, yeah, she does have a moodlet from it. She is a relaxed, so she's currently feeling relaxed from drinking kava, which is fine. Definitely not too negative just yet. I feel like I can't focus on people. I feel like there's so many people here. <gasps> These two came, oh my word. Okay, I'm gonna form a group between Arihi <laughs> He's so naughty. Arihi, Rangi, uh, Makoa, and him. And then he's gonna like try and get them all over here. We're gonna try and like hang out by the fire pit or something. We should probably have a campfire that we could also hang out around. But let's sit together and hope that they come on over here. Ooh, we're like, we've got this. We're almost halfway through and like, we're almost at a gold. We just need to tell some jokes. Uh, why don't you come and sit over here together? No, don't go to bed. You need to set up your daughter. I told you that you were trying to set her up. So we're gonna try and tell jokes to these two and get a reheat in on it as well. <laughs> we're gonna tell a joke about Sunset Valley. Let's tell a joke about mimes. And then we also need Rangi in here as well. You sneaky, sneaky boy. He's gonna tell him an inside joke. This is funny. I love this. This is like the dad just trying to take control of his daughter's love life. He's like, okay, I can do this. Her heart's broken she'll move on like it's fine I'm still not over how freaking good Kiaka looks like she is stunning absolutely so buff this is what I mean though I'm just jealous of everyone who lives here because everyone's so flipping good looking and it hurts like physically hurts we are so close to this gold right now Tama why don't you come over here we're gonna sarcastically no don't get into bed we're gonna sarcastically thank her for coming we're also gonna get a little bit mean we're gonna argue uh, argue about outlook on life <laughs> argue on why the hell she came to our house like completely nude jeez louise she's really just trying to push all of tamar's buttons at this uh moment in time we're also gonna insult her as well i don't think these jokes are working oh there we go oh we're so close to a gold we need to tell stories we also need to grab another drink okay i'm gonna call to grab drink and hope that the guests like actually treat themselves okay we told a joke you can move on these two are having like a right little spot over in this corner i don't think amiri's gonna be very happy look at him watching them he's like what is going on <laughs> Nani is so cute. Oh my god. Why is everyone like getting into our beds? This is just weird. What is happening? We got a gold. Oh my goodness. 
Thank God for that. And she is feeling playful from all the jokes that she has told. Uh, now everyone's grabbing food. This is good though. Everyone seems to be having a pretty good time. We're gonna have Arihi come over here and thank Nalani for coming. We're also gonna thank Kiaka for coming too. See, this is a really nice welcome back. I feel like all the people on the islands that Arihi cares about is here right now, which makes me very, very happy. Like, I just want to give her the biggest hug ever. Um, we're gonna compliment her outfit. Oh, oh, she's feeling dazed. She's over relaxed. So relaxed, Arihi doesn't want to do anything else. So this is exactly what happens when you drink far too much kava. You end up looking like Arihi is looking. Oh my word. That face is horrific. I'm gonna end this part here. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed the Carver party. I'm very excited that we managed to get gold. In the next part, I will show you the reward. I think it's just gonna be like one of those jewelry pieces from the uh, jewelry collection. I don't think it's gonna be anything too special at all. But thank you guys for tuning in. In. That was a really nice welcome home. I think in the next part, we're actually gonna do some diving. I haven't done any diving yet and I kind of wanna check that out a little bit. So if you wanna see anything else in the next part, like maybe some things that you wanna explore, maybe Kiaka has actually invited Arihi to go diving with her sometime. So definitely let me know how you feel about that and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!